What's going on everybody? It's your boy Flannel Phantom and I'm back with another gameplay. Today we're going to be playing Stardew Valley. If you are new to this channel and you have not been on my old channel, we did play Stardew Valley in my old channel. So yeah, this isn't a new game. Uh, we didn't get that far in it though, so I'm curious to see how far we can get this time. I knew you guys enjoyed it last time, so I'm going to do it again this time. I hope you guys enjoy this video game, but without further ado, let's get in the game. Alright, let's go with a new character. And, ooh, I'm not used to the music anymore. Matter of fact, I'm only, I, I can't hear out of my left ear, so I'm using my right ear to, like, nullify it, kind of, since I can't hear out of my left one, which you may be wondering, well, why don't you just put it in the right ear? It's so I can hear myself talk. But anyways, we're going to name our character Phantom Farm Name Flannel, duh. And our favorite thing will be ghosts. Actually, games. I don't know why I put gamer. I don't like cats. Um, no offense to anyone out there that does. I'm just allergic to them, so I dislike cats. I can't. I can't be around cats. So that kind of sucks for me. Okay, let's get into the game, guys. Oh boy, I remember this. Okay, here come the voices. And for my special grandson. Very special grandson. Sorry. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Alright, Grandpa. Um, has it got money in it? No, no, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Don't tell me what to do. You ain't my boss. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Jesus Christ. Have you- you're not very great at parties, are you? When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Oh, You're such a nice grandpa. Now let grandpa rest. He's so nice. I forgot how nice he was. 20 years later? That's what XX means, by the way, in Roman numerals. And X means 10 years, so if there's two X's, you got 20. BAM! I just taught you something you probably didn't know, or you probably did know. And there's Woody licking his lips. Still freaking me the hell out. And I'm depressed! Very depressed, actually. Wow. What are you? What are you doing? Are you looking at porn on that laptop? What are you doing on that lap- what are you doing on that desktop? Is, is there porn up here? Can I look at it? No? I can't? Okay. Dear Phantom, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. It's funny how he says that considering I'm a gamer and, you know, don't really, <laughs> real life connections and nature kind of don't go well with gaming. Um, I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Flannel Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. It was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Wow. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Of course, Grandpa. Also, I don't like how you didn't have faith that one of your friends would still be around. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, great. Ugh, females. I suck at female voices. Hello there. Hello, you must be Phantom. I'm Robin. The local carpenter, Mayor Lewis, sent me here to fetch you and show you your, the way to your new home. He's right there, right- he's there right now. Fuck, I'm just messing it up already. He's there right now, tidying up your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Okay, Robin. Cool. Let's do this. Uh, I am ready. Oh yeah, I forgot this place turns into an utter shithole when I leave it to you guys. This is Flannel Farm. Yeah, um... Care to explain why it looks like a piece of shit? 
You guys couldn't have taken care of it while I was gone. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I know it's not your problem. But, you know, welcoming me to a new town and saying, Surprise, you have chores, is not very nice. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. You just answered it. You just called it a mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Oh, yeah? I will, will I? It would have been cleaned already if you guys would have done it while I was gone. And here we are, your new home. Thanks, Robin. You're, you're, you're a peach. Ah, the new farmer. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta give him another voice. Something less dramatic. He's got a cap, like, uh, Jacksepticeye. So I'm gonna give him a Jacksepticeye voice. Ah, oh, hello there, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's going on, it's not every day that someone new right, moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, potatoes and Irishmen. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage, eh? It's a good house, very rustic, I, I guess you would call it. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. How rude! I was about to say the same thing. Oh, don't listen to her fla to fa her phantom. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you did say you would do it. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Oh, thanks, Jack. You know, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Also, clean up your mess. It's fucking atrocious. Also, I'll be stalking you from a far off distance. Oh, I almost forgot Shelly on me. If, any, if you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck, my lad. Oh, God. I can already hear the Irish people in the comment section going, That's not what we sound like, you bastard. I think the first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to go meet everyone in town. Which means you guys get a slew and an array of more voices. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Uh, yeah, I am. Great to meet you, man. Oh, why, hello. And welcome to our little community. Dear. Sorry. You can call me Granny if you like. Ah, oh, cool. Nice to meet you, Granny. <laughs> it's your turn to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what kind of voice to give you. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Kind of rhymes with Barney. Hey, Peter. Can I borrow your egg beater? Hey, beater. Hey, who are you? Penny. Hi. Oh, well that's all you can say? Oh, you're that new farm boy, aren't you? What kind of, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh, her door's open. I'm gonna steal her shit. You're not good enough friends with Haley to enter her bedroom, but her door's open. That's totally, that's totally like license. Hey, go steal my shit. Oh. You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Great to meet you, Jody. Also, why do you have a room full of toys and no little child? That's a little creepy. There was a child, but he died in the accident. <laughs> All right. Great meeting you, Jody. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Giant fucking rock blocking my way to my house, and it's 7 o'clock at night, and the wolves will be out soon. Like, literally, I am ready to hear the... Oh? Cause when they go, when they come out, that's when the chickens come out. And the chickens are worse than the wolves. The wolves will actually act like chickens to, to avoid them. It'll be like, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm about to say, you probably got like some weird chicken that's going on there and be like, <laughs> it's like the, it's like the chickens from, uh, from, Zelda. Legend of Zelda. Yes. Yeah. The cuckatoos. I, lit I, lit 
I literally was sitting there and it's like, oh, so we got some Legend of Zelda chickens coming in here. Have you ever fucked with those chickens ever? It is terrifying. If you do it, you are dead. They, they... will not stop. <laughs> no, they won't. They, they will literally chase you until you are dead. They literally swarm you. If, for those of you at home who haven't played Zelda, first off, what the fuck's wrong with you? Second, just go up to one of the chickens and lightly tap them a couple of times. And you will be in for a very deadly treat. Hello there. I just got back from a trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. That's the guy's name. He doesn't have Willie for me. Alright, let's go get, let's go meet Willie. And then I think that's where I'm gonna end this video for today, guys. I know this video is not too long, but I've been trying to make it to the point where all the videos are the exact same link. And you guys get as much content out of each one every time. But don't you worry. The next video for this game will be up very shortly after. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But first, before we leave, let's go talk to Willie. He's smoking a peace pipe on the bridge of an ocean. You better watch out. You look like a guy from Jaws that survived Jaws and wants to hunt him. Arr. Ahoy there, son. Heard there's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Great to meet you too. You wanna pass me some of that ganja that you're smoking in that pipe? Arr, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Arr. Finally saved up enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of old fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something sometime. From the shop once in a while? Uh, yeah, don't count on that. I'm gonna steal your shit. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you can catch. Arr. If it smells, it sells. Hehe. <laughs> That's what me old Pappy used to say. Arr. Anyway. Um. Your Pappy sounds like a pervert. <laughs> he sounds like a perverted pirate pimp. I'm imagining literally a pirate ship cruising down a road of the red light district. And like, arr, where's me money, bitch? And then he like bitch slaps her. <laughs> you technically don't have to like him to fuck him. You could always hate fuck. How, 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 how do you hate fuck? I mean, I don't mean to be the obvious guy to ask that, but how do you hate fuck? <laughs> I hate you! But damn if this ass isn't tight! <laughs> I, I, will, I will explain it to you later. Uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're gonna cut this video out. If you enjoyed it, please! Hit that like button to let me know, or leave a comment down below to let me know you did. If you want to help this channel grow, share this with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe today. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Stay tuned for Z explaining to us the whole hate fucking thing. Bye, guys! <laughs>